So good morning. Um, I've had two cups of tea, so I hope you guys are good as well. Um, when I started out, I was just really interested in what do people do as property developers? So I thought I'd very briefly, without hopefully being at all egocentric, run you through what today looks like. Now, every day looks differently for me, but if you're just starting out, it might be interesting for you to know kind of what property developers do. So it is eight o'clock. I've been up uh, working since six. Uh, and first thing I went on Upwork, upwork.com, and I spoke to um, two or three of the people that are doing some work for us. We've got a really nice guy called, well, I go on great with him, uh, in Hyderabad uh, called Jigaro, who does our scraping for our tenants. So he scrapes 150 names a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 50 names, puts it into a spreadsheet that my team share. He then texts out a templated text to them. My team then phone them out and they do um, two lots of phone calls. So they do 300 phone calls a week to make sure all my properties are full. So we're really proactive. Uh, I al he also scrapes 100 landlord names a week and they go into another spreadsheet and the sourcing team phone those landlords out and say, hey, are you a landlord or are you a letting agent? Because to be honest, if you're a letting agent, we kind of don't want to know them. Uh, but if they're a landlord, we keep them on our spreadsheet and then we text them out and say, do you know what? If your tenant's driving you nuts, we buy houses. So that was Upwork. Also, um, at the moment, we're doing some really cool online stuff for you guys. We've been recording some of my teaching and some of my workshops and I'm kind of really excited about it. We're turning it into courses online video, audio, transcript with a really nice design pack. So that's a, a fun piece of creative work. And I was talking to our transcriber on Upwork. Uh, next, I've been uploading some YouTube videos. I just thought um, the marketing team has snowed under, so I'd give them a wee hand. Uh, and that's one of my YouTube videos just uploaded. And uh, I'm going into the office to meet up with Fern uh, for a marketing meet because we've got Oh, just loads to talk about. Uh, obviously the website, we've got our online courses and packs that we're doing, which is a really exciting piece of creativity for me. Uh, I like producing very good work, very high quality work. I like it when people uh, really benefit from it. And so it's, it's something that's very exciting this year. Um, we've been meeting with our web developers last week. And uh, also we're doing a partnership with Ant and George and the team from YPN doing the Bristol online property meet, which launches in a week and a half's time. Uh, and we're growing our database. So she's going to be a little bit busy. Uh, then I'm meeting up with our head office manager, who's only four weeks into the job. So I'm just making sure she's OK. Her job at the moment is to work on our operation manuals for each of the different departments. And I hope by telling you about my day, you can kind of extract things for your day and think, OK, so she's outsourcing. Uh, which means she doesn't need to employ within and she's outsourcing to India and actually to America for our transcriber. She's then uh, working on database, which is basically her network is her net worth. She's working on partnerships with YPN, which is a really cool partnership. And she's working on high quality pieces of uh, property knowledge, which I hope is going to be really useful for you guys. Then when I talk about uh, our uh, head office manager, Emma, She's working on the ops manuals, making sure, a bit like Michael Jerba, you, do you remember um, the E-Myth, a really good book? The more time you spend working on your business rather than in your business. So writing an ops manual and now handing it over to my head office manager to write means that everybody in my business knows how we should <laughs> be running. Um, then I have a meeting with one of my investors in a nice yummy mummy cafe. And what I love about being an entrepreneur it's people have got no idea and that's really cool. I, I don't need to show off and I don't want to show off. I do the YouTube videos because I hope it's going to be helpful to you guys. Uh, and I'm really grateful for all the help I got when I was starting. So he and I have done um, £600,000 worth of private lending every year for the pretty much the last five years. But we sit in a wee cafe uh, surrounded by mums and babies and nobody knows. And that's really cool. So I think we're going to talk about uh, the next steps together. Then I come back and I catch up with our HR, HR consultant because we're putting in pay increases, yay, for the team, but they don't know yet. I'm quite cool, excited about that because they're all meeting her today, or some of the key people are meeting her today. So I hope they're all going to come out with a smile on their face. Uh, so that's really about choosing the right key people. And you see, working with my investors about ongoing relationships. I mean, I could have a phone call with them and go, right, what should we do next? But actually, it's much more fun to meet up, have a coffee, check in with him, find out how his life has gone. He will talk about his kids, my kids. Um, I really like the guy. Uh, and it's really nice to kind of 
keep a really good quality relationship going as well as doing business together in a wee cafe that nobody could tell. Uh, I, I love it. I love it. It's one of the main parts of being an entrepreneur. And then uh, I'm going out to visit, I think, five properties with Vicky, four of whom are already mine, or four of which are already mine. We're looking at um, what's our repair schedule for the year. So for being a landlord, 10% of my rent will need to go on repairs. It's just a given. I don't even worry about it. I just set it aside in a different bank account. So we're looking at how do we keep the properties in the absolute top quartile for lettings uh, in order to get top quartile rents and top quartile tenants. So we're doing a reinspection of a few properties. We'll probably do some videos for you. And then we've got, I think, either one or two buy to sell projects that are finished. That I just want to go out and sign off before we pay the last 10% for the snagging. And then I go CrossFit. <laughs> um, Oh, and uh, tomorrow we launch the business strategy pack and I've sent back two more revisions to our designer. So I'm going to have to sign that off because I'm sure he'll get that done by lunchtime today. So quite busy, but within that, what kind of what's useful for you guys? Well, to a degree, I'm on site with my properties. I don't go on site very often, probably visit my houses like once every two years, but I'm on site with my properties to decide the strategic repair plan. Um, I am working with my head office manager on the operation manual. Again, strategic, working on the business. I'm maintaining a really nice relationship, a really long relationship now, with one of my key investors. He likes working with me, I like working with him, we both benefit from it, and he puts 600,000 my way every year. Um, we've got HR, so we're outsourcing. Um, fantastic woman who's working with my key members of my team, so I want to retain my key members. And then I'm working with our marketing director, oh sorry, marketing manager, sorry, I almost gave her a promotion there, uh, on database, on packs, on website, and making sure, I suppose, our reputation is who we are, which is straightforward and honest. Also on database, which is your network, your net worth. Um, did I miss anything out? So that is all in one day. Oh yes, I'm sorry, I'm also refinancing four properties and pulling out 200,000 quid. Um, so that's all in one day. So there's quite a lot. Uh, I think really to be successful in property for a number of years, you've really got to smash it out at a pace. And I'm probably still running at a pretty decent pace. But we're now stepping to the point where I hope you can see, although I'm doing some on-site work, I'm actually doing a lot of strategic work now. Relationship management. Oh yeah, partnerships with YPN, who I really like. Partnership work, uh, strategic work about refinancing my properties, strategic work about uh, doing the operation manual for my business. Now, for you guys who maybe don't have the team that I've got, and I didn't at the beginning, it was just me, then it was me and Ash, then it was Ash, myself and Charlie, who was our very first hire, who's gone on since to be a teacher. What does that mean? That means that, can you take some of the elements I've talked about, which is working on your business, whether it's your network, whether it's your key investors, whether it's your operation manual, whether it's strategically looking at your portfolio, either for a funding purpose or a renovating purpose, and can you set aside some time in your diary every single day or three times a week to work on your business strategically as well as turning up on site and paying the plumber and rolling your sleeves up? And I think and I would suggest really strongly that that is the way to grow. Um, at the time, it's going to be so wood for trees that you're just going to be like, Suze, mate, I just haven't got the time. And I totally get that. Um, we were like that for years and we still are. We really still are sometimes, but that's the only way for you to grow and move, I suppose, from being a self-employed person to then a business owner to then financial freedom, which is really an asset manager. So I hope that's helpful. I hope for those that are interested in what's the day in the life of either Susie or property developer, that's given you some insight, a little bit busy, um, but I love it. And I work with really great people uh, and two plus two equals about eight. It's brilliant fun. Have a good day and good luck.